welcome to another repair to say today we have an Acer laptop travel mate P214 slash 53 53 yeah which has a broken screen so we're gonna replace that screen that's a straightforward job relatively easy if you know what you're doing so let's get into it Okay, that dot is off. Mm, yeah, so the priming tools should be relatively easy. Yeah, relatively easy. Just be careful on the edges. You don't want to crack the frame. This comes off like it's already has been replaced. Normally they don't go that easy, but fairly easy. So have stereo substitute. Uh, have stereo sound today. I hope the audio is good. That's a long uh, sick child what we carry with us with the audio issues. Here we have some straps. We are gonna pull them out. Okay, take my mats. It's kind of slippy here. Not even you know, flat, but just have to put it in the right position. Okay. Some straps. Try to reuse them if they get them so pretty off like this. I can reuse them. We're gonna hang them in a safe place. And the next one. If I don't get them nice out, we could just gonna replace them. Okay, we lost a little bit. Not a bad thing. Oops. Did pull too hard. Okay, this one's a little bit shorter, but should be still long enough. So, can we now lift that up? Yes, we can. Turn it around. We have a 30 pin connector and we have a sticker on. Which we'll need to sneak under. I'm going to keep that to fix new connector. Now we have some lashes here. I don't know if you can see that. Come on. Here we have that lash around. We're going to lift up. some plastic and pulling it back. Full display. Rubbish. New display. First, I'd like to test it. Or we're going to test it before I put it all back together. To be sure it's a non good display. Okay, what's that? That's a little bit abused. That looks a little bit abused. Let's have a look at the microscope. It's 
okay if it's just a little bit bent but I do not want a broken connecting okay that looks good just a little bit bended here and it's straight that should do so okay problem is solved Pull it a little bit in until it clicks, kind of. Push that lap down, that lid. Put it in the wrong position. Lift it up. That's it. Now we're going to turn it on and see if it really works. You should be very careful if not disconnecting the battery, uh, otherwise if you don't get straight you can really damage your screen and create a short because there's a lot of power going through. 3250 volts, uh, not sure for sure. Yeah, screen is good. Um, let's be careful, we have a name here on the screen. All looks good all the edges everywhere it's a bit dark for you but it's all good so shut it down again okay put this lift this up again Sorry. Okay. Bit too long, but I can get rid of that. Then the second stripe is a bit shorter, which is also okay. Doesn't matter if it's just a tiny little bit shorter. What we're going to do? Maybe we have to open this up again. some pull tabs. Going underneath here. And over there. So we have the pull tab. So it's a bit long but we're gonna put that a little bit on the side here and so now we can grab that and if you can grab it and oh sorry you can't see that. Okay. Put some adhesive here, just move it around and then I could pull that off. This one I laid here over because it's a bit long. Doesn't matter. Okay. 
Okay, now everything is, you sure everything is nice and flat? Nothing in the way behind the display. Then we're going to lay this down here. Really straight. Be sure you're on a flat surface, not like I am. Can be dangerous. Cable in position. That's it. Everything is done. I'm going to pull that here. To check if it looks flat. If it's not really flat, you can put some adhesives here. But it really, if it really lays flat, you don't have to try that. See, we have absolutely no gap. Make sure this is on the outside, so I'm gonna leave it on there. The customer can pull that out carefully. Together. So we have a ISO logo. So that's one of my favorite screens, the modern laptops, the middle priced ones, they are almost all the same. So you don't have to take the back cover out or any complete disassembly so to get the hinges out, to get access to all that stuff that you can sometimes if the, the flex cable goes directly to the board you can get it off when it's built like that um, everything is possible but that's a fairly easy fix and yeah that's it that was it so easy repair replacing a display on an Acer Travelman P214 thank you for watching and see you next time